Welcome everybody. We have another Group A matchup. It's going to be King David here taking on MX Bigfoot. We see him at plus two acquisition there already. Sounds like some lasers coming out of Bigfoot. He's already gotten a little bit of chip damage onto David. Accelerate comes out. A little bit more damage from the lasers. Now we see the nameplates come on, thankfully. Now we know which one's Bigfoot. Throwing out the triple lasers. Looks like they've spawned across from each other. Uh-oh. Okay. Not sure what happened there on the recording. Maybe he just alt-tabbed or something. David moving in now with the plus four acquisition cluster bomb. Another mistimed shield by MX Bigfoot is going to cause him to take five damage. As he gets some more damage down with these lasers, David now down to 13. See the bravery decision come out of David. Plus four on the big bomb is going to connect once more. MX Bigfoot is just having a terrible time trying to time the blocks against Big Bomb. Railgun now comes out. That one won't connect. And once again, Bigfoot's mistiming on the shields has been a huge factor for him in this tournament. It's going to be a 1-0 lead for David on Palace. I mean, the Paralyzed Barrier wouldn't have saved him for long. Uh, but maybe he had more shields. He's taken a lot of damage from not being able to time those blocks. Sounds like the Tiger Strength with the, uh, careful, you're locked on. There we go. David up to his plus one. Tiger Strength Gugnir coming out, still trying to get some damage onto David. Can hear it there in the background being shot rapid fire. Looks like David is running... That heavy green damage deck. Once again, he's already at the plus two. Looking to get that scream of evil. David again, well known in this group at this point. For having the long setup decks that have an end goal. Wanting to burn through almost all of his deck before he reaches the point where he truly wants to fight. Plus four now, having used the first stimulate in two heats. Tiger Strength Triple Laser, not getting any damage for Bigfoot. King David, luckily, with the right spawn, he's not able to be harassed easily as he would be in some of the other spawns here by the Tiger Strength Lasers. That upper spawn on Highway, one of the best. Bigfoot now going to try and get some more damage with the lasers and the Tiger Strength. Laid down an optimization so he can throw it out faster. But that'll just help David get his power bumped up faster, too. Plus six damage now. Gugnir thrown out. That one will connect, but a seven damage Scream of Evil is thrown out. David is effectively saying, you really don't want to fight this fight right now. Another Scream of Evil thrown out. Bigfoot can't dodge it. And that'll be a 2-0 lead for King David. Take us into game three on Panorama. Bigfoot takes a big chunk of damage from David already. We unfortunately weren't able to see what that was. And another. What is he throwing out here? David has relearned whatever he hit him with last time, too. Bigfoot's got the Tiger Strength. He's got three shields. David's at the plus two speed now. Dealt a lot of damage early. Bigfoot's already in a bad way. 
Uses healing water. Does put himself back at a better amount of health. Has a green and an attack. Oh, that vacuum slash will go right through the array shell. And Glacial Wall blocks the does. Good defense timing this game out of MX Bigfoot. Manages to block that at the last second. Another Tiger Strength, another attack. David continuing to dig, 13 R apiece. Now Lightning Sword connects and does massive damage to David. And there goes another, as well as the Impact Burst. That might be what we saw before was the Impact Burst from David. But Lightning Sword catches David in a corner like a trapped animal. And that's going to be Game 3 to Bigfoot, who is not ready to, for this series to be over. Game four, going to be on Refinery. Looks like City was banned. See, a 1R is start for David. Not looking good. Uh, he's got an Environmental in hand as well. MX Bigfoot off to a very healthy RS start. Already at the 7. Two are now for David, slowly making his recovery, but he's going to have to continue to overwrite, most likely. Bigfoot not willing to help him out this time with an optimization. He lays down a Lunar Force instead. David actually overwrites his own environmental. He's up to four R now, and he's got four attacks. Armoros just kind of thrown out there. Two shields in hand now for Bigfoot. If he has offense, this would be it. Well, uh, David's getting there in R&L. But this would have been the time he wanted to move in and get some of that offense down was a little bit earlier while David was reeling. We do see the vibration coming out now with the Lunar Force. It's going to be very strong. Hits one. Looks like an impact burst was thrown out by David who's now trying to block, or excuse me, I was watching the hour wrong, he has nothing to block with, it's false information, slide laser still being thrown out by Bigfoot, he gets some more damage down onto David, Bigfoot could be taking us to game 5 here, making a comeback, we could be looking at a reverse sweep for MX Bigfoot versus King David, oh and the delay bomb will hit, Bomb timing is very difficult. We've seen Bigfoot struggle with that in previous games. He's going to take a tumble down to 9 health after looking so well at the beginning of the match. He's lost 11 health already. 4, 5 more. 3 more from the fall. Bigfoot down to 1 health. Needs to find an answer. He's got to get away from these bombs. going to miss time the block. Needs to get out from under him. He managed to hit the vibration laser on the midair David. Two more damage from the fall. Does he take a tumble off the map? Look like it. More lasers come out. Vibration blaster and bomb both blocked by terrain. Any man's game here. One hit will take either one down. Vibration blaster narrowly missing. Blaster does connect. And that'll be a 3-1 for King David.